What's up guys and dolls, welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Stupid. It's Monday the 14th of December. Or well, welcome if you've not been here before. I'd like to say welcome back. <laughs> That's if you are returning. A lot of people who listen to this are fly-by-nights. They're like fly-tippers. They come in, have a listen, and then they disappear. I don't think I'm their, uh, their, maybe I'm not their cup of tea. But those of you that stick around, you know what's what. You know what's up. You know that this is the place to be. <laughs> you know that you're not going to get news like this anywhere else. <laughs> And that's because all the other places where they do the news, it's depressing, it's fucking bullshit, for starters. I mean, it's bullshit, it's depressing, it's uh, um, one-sided, it's fucking, <laughs> you know, you, you, you can't win. And you, you watch a different news on a different channel, and they're all, they're all having a different angle back on each other. Russia's the news is having a go at America. American news is having a go at Russia. That's the only when you watch that you really do see the uh, the propaganda, uh, mud sh shit slinging, monkey shit, monkey shit slinging. I'm going to call it. But here, this is where you get the proper news. The news what is like uh, we take the piss out of the news, and well, I take the piss out of the news. You uh, you listen with your sexy ears. Anyway, what's going on? It's a slow news day, so I've, I'm, I'm, I'm filling time. This is me killing air time because uh, there's not a lot going on, to be honest. So it's just you and me and uh, my weird brain of the evening because I've got to come up with something out of these things here and make them interesting to you. Anyway, if you've not been here before, as I said, make sure you come back when it is a better, uh, a better news day. But it's going to be a white Christmas, apparently. 11 days to go till it could be a white Christmas. could be snowing. Uh, that's good. It's definitely going to be a shite Christmas, but it might be a white shite Christmas. <laughs> a white shite Christmas. Can we hear that song, please? Uh, Lad Baby. Who's the guy who makes all the Christmas songs every year about sausage rolls and shit? <clears throat> so can we make one about a shite white Christmas, please? Um, anyway, so it's going to be white. That's good. That might give you another reason to not have to travel across the country. I bet some people are going, you know what, I hope they don't fucking lift this, the lockdown restrictions because I can't be bothered to go and see everybody. And if I do, if they do lift them, that means I've got to because I can't excuse myself. So if the snow comes down, you can say, oh, I can't drive in the snow, sorry, I'm, uh, it's dangerous on the motorway. <laughs> You'll have to count me out, I'll see you next year. Or let's do a Zoom Christmas. Uh, let's do the Zoom, let's Zoom. Um, what's that song called, Zoom? Fat Larry's band, Zoom. Can we have that turned into a Christmas song, please? Fat Larry's band, Zoom. Can we turn that into a Christmas song? Someone out missing out on money. I'll tell you what, this is another good idea. Zoom is like very much in the people's psyche at the moment. There is a song called Zoom by Fat Larry's band. Combine the two, chuck in a bit of tinsel, and then we've got a Christmas number one. And I want the intellectual property rights. I want royalties on that one. Anyway, uh, the, the woman who had the first... Um, what do you call it? She had the first uh, vaccine jab. She she had the first jack vaccine jab. Her name's Margaret, and uh, it's a bit it's a bit uh, uh, tenuous. But because she's had the uh, vaccine jab, a baby was born at Whitsnaid Whipsnaid Zoo. I don't even know where she's from, but a baby was born at, a baby giraffe was born at Whipsnaid Zoo in Bedfordshire, and they've named it after. Margaret, who's had the uh, the first vaccine jab. So she's had a giraffe named after her. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, she's fucking buzzing after that. She was 90. I bet she's all excited. She'll have to, that's now like part of her family. She'll have to go and see it now. She'll have to send it Christmas presents and everything. So uh, hopefully she's uh, buzzing off that. That's quite good. I'd like to have a giraffe named after me. But, you know, I'd like to have a building named after me. I'd like to have a lot of things named after me. I will one day. Wayne Towers... I'll be fucking Jimmy in the Trump off Trump Towers and sticking Wayne up there, and I'll turn it into a, a, a part. I'll turn it into a fucking all night disco. How many floors is there? That'd be fucking you know, the best nightclub in New York. That'd be like Studio Fifty Four was. So Studio Fifty Four was the best nightclub apparently, but it was fucking pretentious as shit, weren't it? We had those clubs near me. Pretentious fucking. As fuck, you know, they're coming out and going, sorry, we don't like your moustache. Sorry, we don't like that shirt. You what your missus can get in, you can't. And they, they were doing that. I watched a documentary on the other day. They were going like, you, can get, you can't get in, mate, but your missus can. And she'd go in as well. 
She'd fuck out, oh, sorry, mate, sorry, see you later. That's killed the relationship straight there and then, right on the fucking door. I'd be like, that, fuck you, you ain't coming back. Don't fucking come, you lock the doors. Don't fucking come back to my house. I'm fucking taking my shirt elsewhere, I'll tell you that. Anyway, uh, defence chiefs have produced a 10 page guide on how to suck a lollipop, how to lick a lollipop. Can you imagine? <laughs> I first, when I first read the headline, I thought, what the fuck? But no, it makes sense as you get into it, but it's a strange headline. The defence chiefs have produced a 10 page guide on how to lick a lollipop. I'm sure you don't need a 10 page guide on how to do, even though they're doing it for a proper reason. They're doing like, uh, it's got fentanyl in it and they're doing it to replace morphine on the battlefield. So when you've had your legs blown off, you can have a lollipop. <laughs> they'll, they'll like, has it got a nice flavour? I don't even know. Have they got any flavour? Strawberry and fentanyl? I don't know. But the, 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 the uh, if you ever find yourself in that situation, I'll tell you now before you have, to, so you don't have to read the 10 page guide. Number one, don't, don't chew it or suck it. Number two, twirl the lolly inside your cheek. Number three, Keep it in your mouth for 15 minutes. Number four, don't tape lolly to your finger. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, so there you go. But I'm sure when your legs are blown off, you've got other things to worry about than fucking taping a lollipop to your finger. So uh, anyway, I never, ever, 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 ever want to find myself having to use one of those lollipops. I'll stick to me chopper chops. Thank you very much. Uh, right, like the next one. Alexa. A third of Brits confessed to putting on a sex putting on a sexy, not a sexy. A third of Brits confessed to putting on a posh voice when asked asking Alexa what to do, uh, what to to do some stuff. Sorry. So uh, I tell you what, I have to put on a posh voice when I do. I have to put my customer service voice on because she doesn't understand the fucking thing I say when I say not mine. I haven't got one, but when I go around somebody else's house, when I try and talk to Alexa. Don't, don't, doesn't ever understand the thing I'm fucking saying. It always gets it wrong. It always does something the wrong way around. So I have to put on my posh voice and then she picks it up a little bit. She's bloody deaf. So uh, anyway, that's all going to change soon because I think the first, these Alexas are annoying as shit. I've told you before. They're annoying. They always get it wrong and everybody's always jumping in and you put a song on, somebody else will go up and they'll put another song on then right in the middle of your song. They'll go, Alexa, put this song on. And then you get pissed off then. So you go back and go, no, Alexa, put that song that I just had on back on and let's play it all the way to all the way through. It causes fights at the uh, it causes fights at the uh, at the party. I hate people who do that. When you put a song on, yeah, brilliant, turn your back, all of a sudden someone fucking turns it off and puts some bit shit on. No, if you're listening and you're one of my friends and you've fucking done that, stop it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's uh, it's very, 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 very annoying. Um well, the, Margaret's had a giraffe named after her, and also there's a lot of diggers. No, not diggers, gritters. Gritters, you know, grit that, th that throws grit all over the snow. They're going to be named after Elvis Presley, J.K. Rowling, and Scottish singer Jerry Cinnamon. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. You, you know you've hit the big time when you get named... You, a, snow, a snow gritter gets named after you. I don't think I'm ever going to get to that. Those uh, dizzy heights. But we can, we can, uh, we, we can, uh, what's the word? We can dream. We can dream. I can dream of a gritter named Wayne. But Wayne, Wayne, uh, Wayne the Gritter. Anyway, I was, I've lost my train of thought there. Tom York was woken up by S Club 7 in a hotel. They were having a party, S Club party. <laughs> They were in an S Club party in a hotel room and Tom York had to complain about it because he was uh, they were too noisy. I couldn't imagine that being a fucking good party. S Club party. Do you imagine that? Do you reckon that was drug, sex and rock and roll? Rock and roll? Or do you reckon it was a load of fucking teenage idiots jumping up and down and dancing to Umbop by... Uh, what that's, what's that band called? Umbop. Oh, Hanson. Jumping around, dancing to Hanson in the pyjamas, having pillow fights. It was that kind of party screaming like, uh, you know, screaming like it's the best thing they've ever done, and it isn't. That's what I imagine an escort party to be. Even though Tom York, I imagine, is a bit of a miserable guest. <laughs> but I would be having a much better party, and I wouldn't turn the music down either. I'd say, tell Tom York to fuck off, I'm having a fucky party. And uh, it ain't going to shut till about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. 
Um, and then I'm going to throw the TV out the window. No, I wouldn't do that. I don't get that. I probably fucking know me. I'm that clumsy. I'd eat somebody and then I'd be fucking done for that. So uh, I wouldn't be doing that. Right. Last one I'm going to do. Is it the last one I'm going to do? Yeah, last one I'm going to do. Short and sweet. What's it called? A bloke ordered 11 woofers off Amazon. Woofers being speakers for your car. He ordered 11 woofers and he got 11 cartons of soya milk instead <laughs> through Amazon. And it was through Morrison's who run Amazon. So they sent him the wrong thing. I wonder who, who, who ordered some milk. Why would you order fucking soya milk on Amazon? I'll tell you what. To be honest with you, I ordered oat milk and that's like in a similar carton. And it pisses me right off having to carry that back from the shop. It's heavy. So maybe I should be ordering some oat milk through the post instead of like that. But then I might get a load of car speakers, which I didn't order. And I don't want to put car speakers in, on my cereal. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to eat it. Anyway... I'll let that one. Uh, I'll let that one sink. Or let you, let you think about that one. See whether you've had any mishaps from Amazon. I've seen these packaging things that they send, where they send you a small thing and it's got like about ten meters of packaging with it. It's all paper though, so at least it's recyclable. But it's wrong on many levels. You can't just send somebody a dildo and cover it in. Well, saying that the dildos, I want it covered as much as possible. <laughs> they don't want that sneaking through, popping out through the envelope. But anything else is it's overkill. Come on, Amazon. If you're gonna rule the world and rule mo the moon because you're off to the moon, you're sending a female to the moon to stick an Amazon flag there. We know what what the fucking main goal is. First of all, it's the the saying it's based on the uh, female, but really it's all about the flag and getting a bit of kudos on the rest of the world. Right, I'm gonna do another one tomorrow. See you later. For now, bye.